1-800 Aspen Dental. It's time for better health. Now, we talk a lot about women's health on this show, but today we're going to focus on the men. An enlarged prostate is common among men, especially later in life, but there's an outpatient procedure at one local hospital that can minimize the uncomfortable symptoms with little or no downtime. Here's Melissa Cole with more. Valentine Stakowski is having a follow-up visit with his urologist, Starling physician, Dr. Joshua Stein. Everything been going well since our last visit? Yes, it has. Good. No problems with the urination? No. In April, Valentine had a procedure for an enlarged prostate, a common issue men face as they age. Well, we know that as men age, it becomes more common. In some cases, we see it as early as men in their 40s, but certainly, you know, 60s and 70s, it would be the most common uh, age group where we tend to see these problems. This kind of gives you a sense for what a normal prostate may look like, and this may be what it looks like when it becomes enlarged with what we call BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, where you can see that it's much larger than the normal prostate, and as it enlarges in size, it constricts the urethra and makes it more difficult to urinate. Common symptoms include waking up multiple times a night to have to urinate, um, slowing of the stream, having to urinate frequently during the day. In some cases, they may have trouble holding their urine or, or dribbling. Were you having some uncomfortable symptoms? Yes, I had to go many times to the bathroom. Many times. Initially, Dr. Stein will start with a trial of medications. Uh, for some men, one or sometimes two daily medications will help to control the symptoms, but for other men, uh, they may find that the medications don't do the trick, or they may just be unhappy taking a daily medication and may look for a long-term solution. For years, the gold standard surgery option has been known as TERP. Which stands for trans urethral resection of the prostate, and basically that involves putting a man to sleep in the operating room and putting a scope or camera into the bladder and prostate and scraping out the inside of the prostate. That surgery works well, but there are side effects, which include bleeding and possible infection, among other things. So Dr. Stein prefers a different option. And the one that I prefer is called the green light laser. And the procedure is known as green light laser photo vaporization of the prostate. And basically it's done in a similar fashion. We still put a man to sleep in the operating room. We still use a, a scope or a camera to access the prostate. But instead of scraping out the tissue, we actually use a laser, which emits a wavelength of laser energy. Um, that wavelength of energy creates a green light, which is why it's called the green light laser. The laser actually vaporizes the extra tissue without any bleeding, and it's done as an outpatient procedure. So I send 90-something percent of men home after the procedure. They do go home in most cases with a catheter draining the urine overnight, which we take up the very next morning. Um, but there is less bleeding. Uh, there is a lower risk of side effects, uh, particularly there's approximately a 0% chance of having problems with erections after this surgery and there is a much lower risk of having problems with leakage of urine or urinary incontinence. Dr. Stein has been doing this green light laser procedure for 10 years at the Hospital of Central Connecticut in New Britain, the only hospital in the greater Hartford area to offer this technology. Are you happy that we've been able to get you off your medication? That's that's really good. Yeah. That's amazing. Valentine is thrilled to no longer be on daily medication and his recovery was quicker than he expected. How was your experience with the procedure? Very good. I'm really surprised. I had no pain, no uh, burning sensation. Dr. Stein says benefits will continue over time. But what I do tell them is that their stream of urine should be better from day number one. Um, and uh, in general, most patients have found that that's the case and that they have experienced uh, a re resolution of their symptoms. They've been able to get off the medication they were on previously uh, and uh, have been, for the most part, pretty happy with the results. Very, very excellent information there. All right, you can learn more about Starling Physicians and the doctors in the practice online at starlingphysicians.com. You'll also find information there about booking an appointment. Yeah, it's important for men to take Absolutely. care of themselves also. All right, just because you're going on vacation doesn't mean your workouts have to be put on hold. Really? All right, when we come back, we're going to show you workouts you can do while you're away. We'll be right back.